Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Weasel and today we're playing Theme Hospital, a old classic, one of my favorite games. It's a hospital management simulation. It's a little bit goofy. It's not aiming to be like realistic or something like that. It's like theme park. It's a little bit goofy. Uh, it's fun and uh, yeah, that's just right into it. Um, what's my nickname? Oh yeah, look at that CGI. That's 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 some impressive <coughs> CGI. Wow. Wow, oh, yeah. So this is our main menu. That's that that impressed me so much as a kid, like you wouldn't believe. That was so impressive. So uh yeah, we're gonna start a new game. Oh, a network game? Oh fancy that. I never knew that this game had network capabilities. Interesting. I should totally check that out. Anyway, you can get that game on uh, good old games by the way. Um that's where I got it. Um really cheap. Right now it's the winter sale, but even then it's like really Cheap. Uh, no, no low res. It's not my first game. Um, though I should maybe, maybe I should like get a little tutorial. Um, medium, junior, easy. I think we're gonna go with doctor, like to force ourselves. Um, actually, I never played this version. Interestingly, um, I must have played an earlier one. Um, I think the retail version because I never had like to, to could never choose about low resolution or if it was my first game or. Even the difficulty, it didn't have that, so I don't know about that. So this is our board game or our level progression. Yeah, yeah, that that's the sound. That, that was a sound. Um. Oh, that music. Oh yeah, there we go. That's, oh yeah, that's the stuff. Mm, that's good. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. Um, even though I'm gonna make sure and move the microphone a little bit up closer to my stupid face. Okay, so hello. First, your hospital needs a reception desk. Select one from the corridor equipment menu. And I always played it in German, so if I'm missing something, yeah. Reception desk. Purchase the item. Okay, so just quick. This is our our floor, our uh, floor plan, uh, where we're gonna build our awesome hospital. And well, we can change that. You can change the building at all. Um, and this is where our customers, or our patients, <laughs> excuse me, are coming in. And uh, so we're gonna, wait, how do I rotate that? Uh, right mouse button to rotate. Ah, there we go. It's uh, quite a while that I played this game. And as you can see, there are like little white fields around it showing where the people interact with it, or what what's blocked um, by putting it down. So that's actually right in front of the door. So let's do that. And a receptionist to deal with the patients. Yeah, that's now a fun part. Now we can also hire people like doctors, nurses, janitors, and, well, of course, receptionists. Um, collects World War II shrapnel, incredibly talented and able. Hmm. I don't know. Eh, 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 eh. Well, I don't think it matters too much right now. Um, they definitely have other skill sets and are fast or slower, but I'm gonna hire the first one. Uh, Put her here, and she automatically goes here. She has like a really absent look to her face, doesn't she? Um, I didn't want to stretch the game. That would be horrible. Um, that's why you have borders left and right. This it's not optimized for widescreen. Seriously, not. Uh, it's that all. To stop diagnosis your patient's diseases. I forgot there are. Uh, announcement. To start diagnosing your patient's diseases, you must build a GP's office. Let's do that. GP's office. There we go. Um, how big it's gonna be? Yeah. Um, it always has like a certain size. Um, you can build it very small, but it has a certain size requirement, uh, so you can fit all the needed equipment in there. But I'm gonna make it like like this. It's actually gonna be quite neat. Um, I think that's kind of cute. Okay, let's go. Place the door. Yes. Look how awesome this looks. Still. And of course windows. Let's give him. Give him. Give him let's give him some windows. One window. Okay, and he's gonna sit at the opposite end here. That, that seems fine. And a filing cabinet that comes with it, of course. What would, what would be an office without a filing cabinet? Let's put that there so he doesn't have to walk so far. And the chair. There we go. Nice and far away from the doctor. Horrible. Okay, um, you can still buy more things like a plant. Black. Or a radiator, which we should buy. It's important to keep this place warm. You'll see. And a fire extinguisher? Nah, I don't think anything will catch fire. Let's throw a bin in here as well. Good, there we go. So this is the fundamental diagnosis room in your hospital. New patients are sent here to find out what's wrong with them. Then they are either sent to the diagnosis to a room where they can be cured. 
Yes, um, I can build another one if it's too biggy. Uh, biggie. Bigger. The bigger the room and the more extra objects you place it in, the higher the prestige for the doctor. Um, for all occupied rooms, by the way, is that. Uh, yeah, it requires any doctor. So let's get our doctor. We can choose from two. Um, they have certain degrees. This one is a psychologist, actually. Uh, that's why it's quite hospital. expensive. And uh, this one is just... Well, it's a doctor, so um, he's cheaper. And he's an expert at do-it-yourself. Rude and abrasive gets people backs up. Good for him. Yeah, he's, he's a doctor. He's not a junior, he's a doctor, and he's not a consultant. Uh, so let's hire that person, put him in here. Um, he will walk to his right office, but yeah, that's... Uh, they need all that they can get to diagnose some of the patients. You can assist him by building another diagnosis facility. Facility. That's a hard word. Okay, so... Um, keep an eye on your reputation. Yeah, that's also a thing. Down there in the lower right corner. Why can't I move out of there? I want to show you something. Anyway, um... Watch out for bloody head and inflation room. We'll soon sort those out. You'll be looking to create 10 people. Okay, so... <clears throat> As you can see, psych, psych, ah, no, never mind. Uh, we're just gonna go with that right now. Uh, I'm gonna put a bench. Oh, come here, give me, give me benches. Oh, I right, I have to buy them like this. I remember now. Okay, let's get let's get a lot of them. Um, I have thirty six thousand. Okay, I can definitely afford that. Okay, so this is where our uh, patients will sit down because they have to wait because it's a hospital. And apparently you have to wait in a hospital. It's, um, it's not... The, it will not be the most beautiful hospital you've seen. That's, that's for sure. But it will do the trick. Oh, yeah, that seems like like some little aisles here could be cool. I don't know. I'll have to get into my OCD mode again to build that nicely. Oh, there's still two more benches to place. So let's place them. Let's say. Uh, oh, yeah, from products. <laughs> yes, I will do that, like Dungeon Keeper. There was another one. Now let's put that there. That's fine. Okay, so let's buy ourselves... I'm taking some time here to get myself used to it again. A drinks machine. That's always good. Making some extra cash and keeping more people happy. Ugh, okay, wait. How do I... Right click. Yes, with right click I can move it around. Let's put it like... Um... Yeah, why not? Let's put it there. Um, what else? Okay. I will open up the clinic, don't you worry. We could build, like, <clears throat> general diagnosis, psychiatric ward, uh, all those things. Actually, I'm gonna build the, um, what is it called? Toilets. We, we, we need toilets, believe me. Believe me, you will need toilets. Otherwise, the people will be very mad and very angry. We're gonna put those right here. That's a beautiful place for toilets, <clears throat> isn't it? Luckily, we don't have to uh, build separate ones, uh, only for male and female, so that's good. Uh, let's put those. I don't think I need that many, still I'm gonna build them. There we go. Sink, let's put those in here. And a fire extinguisher in case, like, the toilet sets on fire. A radiator, and let's put a plant somewhere. And four toilets, yes. Right. Oh, right, I only can turn it like this. How stupid is that? Never mind. That's fine. Actually, let's two in more in there. I can afford it. There we go. Patients feeling a call for nature will need to unburden themselves with the comfort. Credit cards required. Yes. Of your toilet facilities. You can build extra stalls and wash basins if you expect a lot of visitors. I am, I am, believe me, people. Oh, actually, it will open up itself. I see that now. This you can, I can click here and open up the hospital right now or can just wait for the time to run out. I will wait. I want to be prepared. Um, I will get the inflation room because you should know the diseases in um, theme hospital are not your regular kind of disease. They're like really cartoonish. Like a bloated head. Uh, got all of their descriptions and whatnot. Radiator plant. Yeah, let's get all those things. Radiator in there, of course, a plant, and a bin. That's nice. So, uh, it requires any doctor. So let's, you know what, I'm gonna hire a really cheap doctor. A junior doctor for that matter. 
Good. Um, extra items in the room make staff more comfortable and improves their performance. Yeah, that's why he has a plant. One whole plant. Okay, we're gonna open up now. And there's an event already. Sir Reginald Crumbly has expected a wish to visit your hospital. Yes, yeah, sure, sure, he, he shall come. Um, that will affect our rating. The rating is, the reputation is really important. Um, we have to reach a certain reputation and we have to keep one and it will affect the people that are coming in and all kinds of things. Good, so now we have this, we have that. Uh, let's get general diagnosis as well. Yeah, I can make it that big actually. Why not? We have enough room. But we gotta keep in mind that we have also to heat that room. So we'll be careful about that. The screen and the crash trolley. There we go. Give me the radiator plant a bit and a fire extinguisher. The fire extinguisher is basically if one of those equipment items likes well, catches fire. And we wouldn't want that. So absolutely nobody would was cured this month. I know. Oh, look at that! Look at that! We, wait, well, how can I pause again? Wasn't there like a way to pause or anything like that? I don't remember right now. Maybe not. There must be. I just don't remember right now. So, we have exhausted all of our diagnosis machines in this patient. We are still not sure what is wrong. What shall we do with the patient? Well, get to wait while we build more diagnosis rooms. Um, I built that one. Apparently that does not do the trick. There's our bloated head. Uh, so first bloated head person. See, we cured her, so we got money. Um, general diagnosis. Um, so we got some money through that, and uh, I need to build another diagnosis facility. Um, psychiatric? I don't. I don't think we would need psychiatric. But. Oh yeah, my plants are getting thirsty. That's bad. Okay, see? What? No, I don't want to build that. Okay, so, give me a janitor. Yes. Our janitor will clean up and he will feed the water the plants. As you can see, he's already walking over there. About to feed the plants. Ah, I found the speed. It's one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So, let's keep, let's keep it slow for now. Oh, so many things happening at once. I'm trying to explain everything. So here's our VIP. He's gonna check out the vicinity and uh, look if everything is fine. Um, and now back to the radiators. As you can see, here's my floor plan. And as you can see, this is my heat level. So I wanna make sure that all is covered by radiators. So I'm actually gonna build like three more radiators. And the more radiators you have, the more expensive it is. Um, still, I want to make sure that people don't get sick here, so uh, build all those things. Um, that, that should look better now. Yeah, that's covering a whole lot. Um, it's a start. Anyway, we need to build more benches, just because that makes me happy. If it's even, and there are benches everywhere. There we go. Uh, we don't need them yet. Still, we do need something for our invisible man. Psychiat- Yeah, I think psychiatric is the only thing I can get by now, so... Let's make a nice big fat room here. Uh, yes, that's good. One window is enough. Um, a screen. Uh, a couch. And... You know what? A comfortable chair. I'm gonna put that like there. There we go. Diagnosis psychiatric illnesses must visit a shut up must visit a psychiatry department to receive counseling. Yes, it requires a psych. It requires a certain kind of doctor. I can't. Why psychiatrist? There we go. I can't say it. Let's hire that person, and he's gonna take care of that. So, uh, diagnosed with uncommon colds. Why? Where do you go to be diagnosed? I don't know. See, he has like a thirst level, a warmth level, all those kinds of things. He's angry, he's leaving. That's bad. So he waited too long, so that's why he's leaving now. Um, let me pause for a second. Ah, there we have our first diagnosed condition. It's the uncommon cold. Um, small particles of snot in the air, symptoms runny nose, sneezing and discolored lungs. Cure a big swig of uncommon cough medicine made for special ingredients in the pharmacy. Great. So we diagnosed a common cure, uh, a common cold, and it's for her, the uncommon cold. Um, wait for a while, we need, to, we need to build a pharmacy for that. 
So let's get that. Where is it? Uh, treatment. Pharmacy. So this is a nice little room we're gonna build, just for that matter. I'm gonna put that right in the middle. Save some space. And we're gonna put a pharmacy cabinet in there. That's pretty much it. And a radiator plant. All those things. Um, and this doesn't need a doctor. This only needs a nurse. Yes. Pharmacy. Give me a nurse, please. Uh, expert at do-it-yourself drives rally cars. That sounds like a perfect person to hire for pharmacy. So, now she can be cured. Um, that's, that's a start. Okay, what did we expect uh, discover now? Discovered a new condition, it's bloaty head. Right, that's the one with the big heads. Sniffling cheese and drinking unpurified rainwater makes that happen. Symptoms very uncomfortable for the sufferer. Cure, the swollen head is popped, then reinflated with the cork PSG PSI using a clever machine. Doctor this one. I cured my first patient. Yay. Okay. So, as you can see, this is this is how this basically works. Person goes to the doctor to be diagnosed, gets a treatment, which is really stupid in theme hospital. As you can see, is you know inflating him. Yeah, that's that's how you cure people, right? And uh, we got a lot of money for that. That's how hospitals work, basically. After visiting your hospital, Sir Reginald Crumley remarked, "I did enjoy your charming hospital. Now, anyone fancy a curry at the Taj? You have rewarded cash grant of 400. Yes, great success. Okay, let's build. Nope, let's build like three more benches. Put them right in front of the pharmacy because we're fancy. We're fancy like that. What? We've exhausted all of our diagnosis machines on this patient. Uh, which one? Oh, the type of invisibility. Um, well, take a chance on the pure spill cure. You can always take a chance if you haven't like totally figured it out. And we're gonna try that now with our invisible friend here. And he might actually die. So that's happened when you take a chance. Okay. He's drinking it and he reappears. So we might have cured him. Is he no, he's not. We saved him. And money is coming in. What is wrong with you? You're all yellowish. Okay. So let's see what else we need to build. General diagnosis, psychiatric ward. We have all those things already. Clinics, inflation, we have those. Well, we could get a staff room. That actually kind of makes sense. So they can relax a little bit. Let's do that. Build that. Uh, yeah, let's put windows everywhere. Screw their privacy. Okay. What can we buy? A pool table, a TV, a sofa. A fire extinguisher radiator, that's good. Okay, that sounds like fun stuff room actually. Okay, pool table and a couch they can sit and sleep on. Actually, two of them and the TV. Doctor, <laughs> attending psychiatry, please. And that is, and all of those nice things. Wait, didn't I buy a plant? No, I did. Here we go. Okay, your staff gets tired as they carry out their jobs. They require room to relax. True. Okay, uh, a new condition. It is TV personalities cause daytime television symptoms. Delusions of being able to present a cookery show. Yeah, that's that's that sounds like a symptom. Cure a trained psychiatrist must convince the patient to sell their TV and buy a radio. Doctor required in GP's office. Oh, you've satisfied the financial level for this uh, the criteria for this level. So let's have a look. What do we need to get um, for that? Oh, look at that, there's trash. Clean it up, clean it up, my man. What, why? Wait, oh yeah, I can tell him what he needs to do. I can tell him to water the plants and repair things. Actually, I'm gonna, uh, gonna make him do all those things. Uh, and get one just for cleaning up. Uh, come here, you, you just clean up, there we go. What is this? Diagnose a new condition, it is the squids. Cause eating pizza found under the cooker. Symptoms, ugh, surely you can guess. Yep. A glutinous mix of stringy pharmaceutical chemicals solidified a patient's inerts. Okay, yeah. That's also the thing. They will puke all over the place. And if you have like a, ah, uh, like a disease going on, yeah, you'll have a problem. Okay, let's speed up the gameplay a little bit. Um, I think we're actually gonna win soonish. Let's keep it at normal right now. You need to increase your hospital value. Ten patients cured. Oh yeah, right. That's also win condition. There, yeah, quite a few. So, policy. 
All right, diagnose procedure. You can also set those. Not a lot, but it's enough. Um, send them at staff at 60%. Stop procedure when he's 100% sure. Um, you can save a little bit of money. Um, well, then save. You can make sh really sure how things work out if you like let him. Um, um, yeah, I think they make extra sure. Um, sending them to 150% is like it just takes longer for them to be diagnosed, but the diagnosis is more sure, uh, more accurate. I think that's the thing. I'm not really sure if I know that one. Anyway, um, yeah, diagnosis procedure. If it's lower than 10%, he will be sent home because we have no idea what to do. I'm gonna put that actually up to 40 per 30%. That's fine. Um, and at 80, we will already guess a cure. So that's good. But, okay, so, um, Hall of Fame, I think we made it, I, I think we made it, yeah, Weasel, there we are, 15,000, well, it's not the best score yet, but it's a start, um, so, did I win anything, your hospital wins an award for building the best reputation during the last year, and know that your hospital is very clean, clean hospitals are safe hospitals, keep up the good work, yes, reputation plus 16, oh yeah, right, this is actually the year, there was like a year thing, so you would actually continue. Um, but in this case, I think I made everything right, so we actually finished that level. Um, Johnny Good, you have made excellent progress at your hospital. We have found somewhere else for you to run. Is uh, If you fancy a change of scenery and a fresh set of challenges, you don't have to accept, but it might be worthwhile if you do. The salary is 16,050. Do you want to job at Sleepy Hollow Hospital? Well, let me think for a second. We, well... Yeah, I do want a job for a hospital, and that's gonna be a little bit more tricky. Um, there are gonna be new things to be diagnosed, and it's a different layout, and uh, there will be emergencies, all kinds of things. So um, if you enjoyed this episode, give it a like, it really helps out a lot. And we're gonna move on to the next level, and we're gonna play that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Weasel, I'm out, and I hope to see you around. Bye-bye!